caught in the crossfire. Man, what the fuck if you was the police before? Because I feel like, okay, police just doing their goddamn job. But now I'm looking at you like, nigga, what kind of shit is you on? Boom. And then, motherfucking, I'm like, y'all both acting weird as hell when I'm telling y'all I'm not right. Y'all trying to act like I'm normal. This bitch butt ass naked in the towel. Talking about she, it was just too much weird shit going on. No, I'm not with all that. And then, bow. When my body got left, I'm like, okay, it's a setup. So I just wanted the whole world to know, listen, if y'all think y'all going, oh, this some weird shit happened. I'm trying to go live on Instagram and my communication is being jammed. I'm getting 50 goddamn you can go check my phone records i got at least a hundred calls in five minutes i'm getting all kind of unknown numbers so i can't call for help my phone being jammed i can't go live because motherfuckers keep calling my phone so it was like i couldn't even call for help what so what i had to do was take a video record it and then post the motherfucker because i couldn't go live or call for help because my communication was being jammed up man there you go with that bullshit so I'm like, okay, if y'all motherfuckers were already seen what it was, my communication being jammed up, the police acting weird, my bodyguard left me, this bitch poisoned me. Okay, it's going down. Stop it. Get some help. I'm like, I need for everybody to know what it is. It's crazy that he's able to figure all this shit out while hallucinating a woman turn into a rep reptilian. I've never seen someone be able to be so intelligent while being so high at the same time. It, it just no, it doesn't work that way, my nigga. Were you, were you hallucinating? And you weren't feeling right, or were you, a, or were you still a fucking polymath that was able to piece all this shit together? Because it, it, it doesn't make sense. Message. And I need for the police to know what it is because if you, an innocent officer, coming to my house, I don't want you to come to my house and get your motherfucking head blew off because I'm on hostile mode. I'm on Metal Gear Solid mode where the shit be like what? and it's red. That's where I'm at. So if you innocent, I don't want you to come to my house and get shot. Just trying to do your job. But if you're not innocent and you try yeah, to knock wild down, we're going to shoot it out in the middle of the motherfucking suburbs. Period. Because I'm not going for no shorts. And so that being said, that's what the fuck happened that night. Qua pushed up, held me down. Reek pushed up, held me down. They pushed up, held me down. You feel me? And that's what happened. And shit, I almost had a shootout with the goddamn... In my mind, I was ready to have a shootout with the police in the middle of the goddamn suburb. Too much. Yeah, in your mind. See, that's the only correct, truthful thing that he said. He, 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 in his mind, he was about to, you right, in your mind, all this shit happened. In your mind. Because none of this shit happened in reality. He said, in my mind, hashtag Mikmop, he's ready to Mikmop the cops. In his mind. Much crazy shit was going on. And I ain't trying to do shit but raise my goddamn kids. And, and get out the street and get out of danger. I don't even know what the fuck... These kids ain't had, hadn't been at that house in months. I'm, I could have stayed in goddamn in the ghetto for all of this shit if that was the case. So now, peep game. Boom. The next day, you see the two officers come, and which I've explained. Go watch my goddamn live stream I just did, which I explained. You see the two officers come, the woman and the man. Bow. We talk to them. I record my whole house, show them ain't shit going on. Then after that, another officer come, record my whole house. I show them ain't, that ain't shit coming on. Okay. Also, CPS came to my house motherfucking when they came my baby was in the jacuzzi my baby was safe they asked golden what was going on she told him it was straight she said motherfucking i ain't making this up she said she did this shit for views on the internet that's what happened you feel me i don't know y'all gotta talk to her but i don't know that 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 is blasphemous that's bullshit if the cps had said that they would have arrested her right there for making a false report so there you go lying, trying to demonize her. Why didn't they arrest her for making a false report? Because you, you're using manpower. You got them coming out to the house. And with her admission, that's a false report. So that, that makes no sense. You're lying your ass off about that. Long story short, I ain't been doing shit, man. CPS been at my motherfucking house. My baby was good. Police came to my house. I don't know what it, you talk to them about that. I don't fucking know. All I know is I was good. Wasn't nobody in danger. Golden wasn't even there. She was at another goddamn house that I was paying for. It was straight. So my bodyguard abandoned me. And I think this bitch might have been an FBI or something. Gave me shrooms. I don't know. All I know is I ain't dealing with that bitch. I don't. Wait, Um. you said you knew in the beginning of this story, you said you knew Josh Netta for years. You, you said you knew her for years. Plural. So now she's the FBI? I don't care. I've been stopped talking to that bitch. I'm not dealing with that bitch. You feel me? Period. Now, a lot of y'all might say, why did you keep inviting her back? 
I kept inviting her back purposely because I wanted to figure out if she was the goddamn police or not. You weren't inviting her back. You were forcing her to come back. So I kept inviting her back personally. You feel me? And I wanted to prove my point. I don't put my hand. I wasn't putting my hands on no females. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Mm, oh my God. Stop fucking lying. You feel me? I wasn't putting my hands on no females. Like motherfuckers were saying, or wanted you to believe, or like that bitch. Wait, 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 wait! You said you brought her back because you wanted to prove that you didn't put your hands on females. Ah, I must not have heard that part the first time. You feel me? And I wanted to prove my point. I don't put my hands on that bitch. You feel me? Period. Now a lot of y'all might say, "Why did you keep inviting her back?" I kept inviting her back purposely because I wanted to figure out if she was the goddamn police or not. So I kept inviting her back personally, you feel me? And I wanted to prove my point. I don't put my hand, I wasn't putting my hands on no females, you feel me? I wasn't putting my hands on no females, like motherfuckers was saying, or wanted you to believe, or like that bitch probably wanted y'all to believe, whatever. But long story short, I kept inviting her back on purpose. And then and then, and then, then when y'all say, Pharaoh, okay, well you talk, yes, the second and the third time she came, I told her to bring shrooms. Why? So I can prove that the first time when that bitch gave me them shrooms, I never told that bitch to bring those shrooms. What? He said that he told her the first, the second and third time to bring shrooms to prove that he didn't tell her the first time. All you did, but it was prove that you did tell her to bring shrooms. Message. So thanks for telling on yourself, you fucking idiot. Message. Listen to what this man just said. Yes, the second and the third time she came, I told her to bring shrooms. Why? So I can prove that the first time when that bitch gave me them shrooms, I never told that bitch to bring those shrooms. I never even told that bitch to to to, to bring those shrooms in my house. What did he say? Hey. Oh. <laughs> Nigga, did you know that I can see you? I never once told that bitch to bring no goddamn shrooms to my house. What so yes, I invited her back again, and we went to goddamn Arizona with Kirk Cocaine, and it was some shrooms there. Why? Okay. Why? Okay, so that so I could tell so I could prove to y'all. And in that situation, Kirk Cocaine said that you kept bugging him about the shrooms. You asked her to bring the shrooms, and you begged them to, to bust the shrooms out until they bust them out, and you start eating them out the bag like chips. So you took shrooms multiple times in that situation. You said I told her to bring them back the second and third time. You are high the second and third time, which stands to reason that, nigga. You, you took it. That's why you wasn't feeling good the next day, because you called her back over, took some more shrooms. And then the day after that, you called her over again and took some more shrooms by your own admission. When I told the bitch to bring shrooms, she bought them. Yeah, but when I didn't tell the first time when the bitch gave them to me, I never told that bitch to bring no fucking shrooms. Period. So what about the second and third time? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. So wait a minute, wait a minute. When you took, when you brought them, the, when you, you, you tell her to bring them a second time, that's different. But then you told her to bring them a third time. The third time lets me know that you took them the first, the, the, the second and first time, and the third time. Because wouldn't she have caught on that you told her to bring the shrooms the second time and you didn't take any? Wouldn't that made her suspicious? Like why are you asking me to bring the shrooms and you not taking them? So that means you took them all three times. Nigga, she ain't drug you. My nigga, you took those drugs willingly. So I want to let everybody know. And then on top of the fact, I want to let y'all know it's not the shrooms. Because if it was the shrooms, I would still be fucked up. Now, let me be honest with y'all. I didn't took shrooms plenty of times in my life. I didn't took DMT before. That ain't shit. Okay? Anybody that takes you, but but wait, 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 back that up. You said you never took drugs before in your life. Message. Until until people. Tell that video of you uh, surfaced of you saying that you took shrooms in Chicago before. You claim that you had never taken drugs in your life. Message! You don't do drugs. You never taken drugs. 
Only thing you've done was a little bit of reefer and a little bit of wine. That's what you said. Auto. Yeah, but when I didn't tell the first time when the bitch gave him to me, I never told that bitch to bring no fucking shrooms. Period. So I want to let everybody know. And then on top of the fact, I want to let y'all know it's not the shrooms. Because if it was the shrooms, I would still be fucked up. But let me be honest with y'all. I didn't took shrooms plenty of times in my life. I didn't took DMT before. That ain't shit. Okay? Anybody that... You're obviously still fucked up because your eyes are cocked like a pistol. Your, your speech pattern is different. You're mumbling. Take shrooms to tell you that ain't shit. That's like my brother that smoke weed to tell you that ain't shit. Whatever the fuck that bitch gave me that day wasn't no goddamn shrooms. It was something that I think was meant to fuck my mind up and they was gonna try to call me crazy. And then these stupid ass bitches, like my son, mom, you see this bitch still talking about you crazy. You need to be in a straight jacket. You need help or golden talking about you need, you know, you might need perfect. Talking about some, I need to have a hypnotherapist. Bitch, I don't want nobody playing in my mind. I don't want to see no hypnotherapist or none of that shit. And then at the end of the day, who the fuck is the therapist therapist? If the therapist is going to sit here and talk to me about knee and therapy, who the fuck talk to them when they need? I don't believe in none of that shit. Okay, so we can say the same thing about your research. Who, 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 who checks the, the, the fact check, who fact check your research. You have no scholars fact checking your research. Other scholars get other scholars to fact check their research. You don't get nobody to fact check your research. So we can't believe it's, but going off your logic, we can't believe in your research because nobody else fact checks it. So nobody, we don't even know if this shit is even correct. Oh, man, matter of fact, we do know it's correct because it's always somebody else's shit. I don't believe in that shit. How about just calm down, leave me the fuck alone, give me a second to recuperate, and then I could be okay. I don't need all that. I don't need to be spending thousands of dollars for another motherfucker who don't know me at all. You don't know my culture. You don't know my history. You don't know shit about me to be trying to tell me about me. The fuck out of here. And so that being said, that's what happened tonight. I had my episode. That's what happened. You know what's crazy? He claims everybody don't know his culture and his history, but he claims he knows everybody else's culture and history. Facts. And on top of that, I've been doing this shit for five years. I ain't never been bothered by the police. The most I ever got from the police was a fucking speeding ticket. The most the state troopers ever gave me these five years was speeding tickets. I ain't never been bothered by no white person. I done been at my first lecture I ever did was in South Carolina. All you seen was Confederate flags in the goddamn flea market. I walked through that motherfucker with a red, black, and green shirt on. Ain't a white person bothered me. They didn't say shit to me. So for all y'all motherfuckers out here trying to say something about the KKK or racist ass white people, I've been walking around these motherfuckers by myself the whole time. Nobody has bothered me. Whether they agree with me or not, or I agree with them. No. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. And as soon as he don't get a bank loan, they all oh, they racist. As soon as he don't get a loan for the truck, they racist. I told y'all this nigga's a flip floppy wish washy ass nigga. Flip floppy this shit. <laughs> you ever seen a motherfucker flip flop on you and shit like this in your face? Don't crazy to be flipping this shit. The most flip floppy and wish washy, bro. I've never seen somebody so wish-washy. You better be careful, little buddy.